Hi, Matthew here from Simply Spanish Wine and welcome to another tasting video. Today we're up in the northwest corner of Castilla León, just before Galicia and just below Asturias, and we're drinking a wine from the Casar de Burbia winery, which is in Denominación de Origen Bierzo. Now Bierzo is famous for two grapes, the white grape Godello, which we've looked at in some of our other tasting videos, and the red grape Menthia. And here we are. This is the winery's uh, Menthia, the Casar de Burbia Menthia from the 2017 vintage. It's 100% Menthia grape, which has all been grown on the estate, which is important because lots of wineries, uh, if you're not careful, the, the grapes are actually grown by other people and then sold to the winery where the wine is actually fermented and made. Uh, Estate grown means that the, 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 the vineyards are owned, farmed and managed, overseen all year round by the people who actually make the wine, by the winery owners. And that's important because in terms of sort of quality control and overseeing the whole process, that's an important thing. So these are 100% estate, estate uh, grown, state owned Menthia grapes. They're from a mix of plots. Uh, one of the great things about Casar de Burbia is it has a almost a, a, a sort of Burgundian approach to its winemaking. It has uh, all sorts of plots, about 52 in total, at different altitudes, different orientations, different soil types. Lower down they tend to be clay, higher up they tend to be more stony, more mineral, more quartz, more slate. And uh, that allows for a great diversity in the, in the wines and it gives the winery, the, the winemaker, a lot of freedom uh, when he or she comes to, to actually deciding on the blend. So this Menthia is from a blend of different plots, which the winemaker Isidro Fernandez then decides on the optimum uh, blend that he's going, to, he's going to use for that year's vintage. All the wines at Casar de Burbia are now 100% organic since the 2019 vintage. And this wine is lovely, deep purple in colour. Nice and clear purple. It's got a Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a massive fruit nose there. Loads of loads of red fruit in there, like um, thinking raspberries, blueberries, um, cherry in there too. Quite mature fruit with a sort of mineral mineral undertone to it, under sort of thread to it, running through the wine. Now this is a wine that's been. After it's fermented, it's been uh, kept in, in French oak. It's racked off, it's, it's, it's siphoned off from the stainless steel fermenting tanks and put into 500 litre French oak barrels to age. And it's aged for between 10 and 12 months, gaining in complexity, taking on some of the, those tertiary aromas from the barrel. So some of the sort of more vanilla -y, more caramel notes that you'd expect from the French wood leach into the wine and that adds to the complexity and the enjoyment of the wine. Complements very well the red fruit that I was talking about a minute ago. Mm. Now immediately you get you get that burst of fruit in the mouth. It's a very refreshing wine. Menthia is a wine is a is a grape. A lot of people talk about it as the Spain's Pinot Noir. It is a very refreshing red grape. And because these grapes have been grown at altitude, that only enhances the freshness of the wine. It's also got some nice nice tannins on the side of the mouth, but they incorporate very, very well into the wine. They're not, they're not sharp and with hard edges. They're not uncomfortable tannins. They're very well incorporated into the wine and they make the wine, help the wine uh, last in the mouth, the, all the, the acidity and the tannins, which is a, a good thing. Mm. Delicious. The 2017 Menthia from Casar de Borbia, a wine which combines very, very well with all kinds of, of, of light meat dishes, probably more white meat than red meat, also go well with rice, um, charcuterie as well, it would combine very well with. So if you haven't tried it yet, this is a really great introduction to Menthia from Denominación de Origen Bierzo. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye for now.